Good morning. I'm going to show you how a password generator works. Many of you just use part of your name as your password or maybe your birth date or some other combination. But that's important that you don't use something that's easily recognizable in your life. I'm going to show you a random password generator that can create numbers, lowercase, uppercase, letters, and symbols. So in the default settings, I'm just going to create a password that is 12 characters long. Okay, now That's a weird password you probably don't like. Anyway, that would be a very secure password. 10 and above I would consider to be a somewhat secure password, but it varies depending on the uh, banking application you're using or what exactly you're doing online. So what I have done is I've created a system where I can get exactly what I want. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it to create a password that's easy to type. This one's not easy to type because you're shifting up and lowercase and it's not easy to use a password like this. So I'm going to turn off the symbols and I'm going to say no. I'm going to turn off uppercase. I'm going to turn off lowercase and I'm going to come up with a password that is 11 characters long. Okay. Now to meet the requirements of the secure websites, I'm going to just going to use uppercase W, lowercase, and a plus sign. There, that will meet all of the requirements. I will take this password and I will go store it in my password vault and then it will be available for use. You really do not want to be using a single password for each and every website because if somebody gets one, like what recently happened with PayPal, you uh, will lose all of your access to your websites or maybe have your banking information cracked and lose some money and have to wait a while for them to sort everything out. Okay, I just suggest that as part of your personal security. The thing about this password creator is it will also create a password that's a thousand characters long or as long as you care. I think it goes up to like 15,000 something like that. But you can use that to create a random code that could be used to encrypt something. So that's available. Anyway, it's just something you should consider as part of your personal security. Create random passwords, use random passwords, and have a password vault. You know, something that you can have with you or take with you and you should have to enter a password to even get into the password vault. Anyway, just some random thoughts. So thank you for your time.